All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Diego Sanchez and Clay Guida. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweep from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body, but it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers the high level yeah. of everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Both fighters identical in age with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC, a lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 36 wins, 18 losses. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Clay, the Carpenter! Weena! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of 32 wins, 13 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA. He is an Ultimate Fighter season winner. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? So here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. But BJJ black belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the Jiu-Jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck doing everything to try and make you think submissions coming, even if it's just to change positions to secure top. And they separate. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Huge knee land. Outstanding combination of knees by Sanchez. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Now he engages in a Muay Thai. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Nice punch lands. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, he'll engage. 
Cage in a single collar tie. Just missed with the left there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard. So Fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Kick to the body by Sanchez. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Oh, collar tie. Oh! There's the leg kick. That one checked by Sanchez. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Back and forth we go! Another single collar tie there. Oh, keep it busy in the clinch. Dirty boxing here. So the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Sanchez. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop us. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, and try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready? You ready? Right, let's go. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Powerful leg kick lands. Punch over the top. As he takes him down, now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. All right, side control. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Back to the feet now. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself. Picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Left hand punch in the clinch. Big kick. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, great job by him to get the takedown there. He did a good job of setting up his attack, securing it, and getting the desired result. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Sanchez. Big. Yeah, he's on really bad. these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Oh, oh, DC. Massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent 
seems to be on his way out of the fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, take down, cut, take down, cut, over and over, he secures his takedown. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. now. Sanchez has just got full mount now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. He's got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Side control now. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. See, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Just misses with a left hook there. Yeah. Oh, the straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch land, and he's got him hurt very bad. Close guard. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Weed is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Down into his mouth. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. All three judges scored this contest 30-27. 
declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Diego Nightmare Sanchez! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was standing or on the ground. This is his fight. He won this fight, and he won it in dominant fashion.